Hi IndyCar fans, it's May 18, 2018, and what a day it is that another day of practice for the IndyCars at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, and then tomorrow on ABC, the practice begins for the greatest spectacle in racing, the Indianapolis 500. With that said, I like to sing a wonderful tune, actually a parody to a great tune that most of you would know the tune to, but I have adjusted for the Indianapolis 500. So, Children's Television's Workshop, this is not meant to gain anything, it's just for entertainment purposes. I hope you like it. If you don't, just let me know and I'll take it down. But it's just for fun. And Bob McGrath, thank you for the wonderful tune. And here's what happens when the term Sesame Street and the Indianapolis 500 come together. Oh, who are the drivers of the 500? Indy 500, Indy 500, say who are the drivers of the 500? The drivers you see at each race. For instance, how about the driver who won the Indy 500 the same year Sesame Street came out? Oh yes, who better than Mario Andretti? Well, Mario is a racing legend. He's won everything you can imagine. Like NASCAR F1 and Indy, yes! That's quite a record, I'll confess. Because Mario is a legend of the 500. Indy 500, he's won the 500. Mario is a legend of the 500. A driver you see at each race. In addition, how about last year's Indy 500 winner whose only sole victory has come at Long Beach? Ah uh, yes, the man from the land of the rising sun. As a result, the sun is shining on his name forevermore, Takuma Sato. Well, Takuma Sato's lightning quick to be the first to cross the bricks. He loves driving race cars so fast. So you'll never see him finish last Because Takuma Sato's a winner of the 500 Indy 500 He's won the 500 And Mario is a legend of the 500 They're the drivers so divine As they streak across the line They're the drivers you see at each race Vroom vroom everyone! And congratulations to these two drivers that made their mark on the greatest spectacle in racing. I'm Aaron Cylinder, firing on all cylinders.